Okay, we're going to make two graphs, both of which are going to show some sort of percentage calculation in a label above the column. So on here, we've got a percentage of total above each column. And here we've got a percentage difference between two years. So I'm going to show you how to display these labels in a column chart. It could either be a stacked column chart or a single series column chart. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So this is my data for the first chart. I've got sales in 2020 for each of my sales people. This spacer column will make sense as we go through this little tutorial. Uh, percentage, we've got to do here is work out what percentage of the total sales each person has achieved. Very simple little calculation. We would take their sales amount and divide it by the sum of all sales amounts. And by pressing F4, we will lock that reference. And then I'll copy it down and I'll get a percentage breakdown of sales. Okay, so once you've got this data, you're ready to create your chart. So you can click anywhere in the data, go up to the insert tab on your ribbon, go over to your little column and bar chart button and go for a stacked column chart. Now the spacer column is just being used to create a little bit of space between the column and where your label is going to reside. So this orange series here is the spacer series and we can hide that. So if you click on one of the orange columns there, you can go to format, shape fill, no fill, and that basically hides that. Now this little line here represents this series here, the percentage series. So we need to click on that and we need to also set that to no fill. Now, still on your format tab, if you go to this little current selection drop down and make sure the series percentage is selected, you're then going to go to the plus button chart elements, top right of your chart, and then go to data labels, go to more options, and you want to select this option value from sales, and then select the actual monetary amounts that these columns represent. And what you'll see is that it will include the monetary amount and the percentage breakdown. Now I'm just going to change the size of those labels in terms of the font size. And then if you want, you can change the background color. Let's go for a gray background and white text. Make the chart a little bit bigger so the labels don't overlap. Now down here on the legend, you could either delete the whole legend and you do that by just clicking on it and then pressing delete. Or if you wanted to keep this entry here, you could select the spacer entry, press delete, and the percentage entry, press delete. And then you'd just be left with the label for the blue columns. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this type of chart. Let's go on to the percentage difference chart. Okay, so in this example, I've got two years worth of sales and I've also got my spacer column, which will provide the same functionality as in the last example. I need to calculate the percentage difference. So I'll do that by just subtracting these two sales values and then dividing the result of that by the first year sales. And you may need to apply the percentage format to your results. Then what you want to do is highlight the first four columns. So not including percentage difference. Go to insert, go to the same column and bar chart button and choose your stacked column chart type. Now these gray columns represent the spacer series, which I need to hide. So if I click on one of those gray columns, Go to format up the top here and change the shape field to no fill. Now I'm just going to move this slightly out of the way and I'll reselect my spacer series and then I'm going to add data labels. And I'm going to go to more options. Values from sales is what I'm going to tick and then I'm going to select the percentage difference column. Click on OK. And then I want to hide the value. I don't want the spacer value in that label. 
So you can now see I've got that percentage difference at the top of each column. I could reduce the font size, give it a bit of a background color, format, gray with white text. So down here, again, you'd probably want to get rid of this spacer entry in the legend. So if I click once on the legend, then click again on the spacer entry, press delete on my keyboard, and the chart is done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.